For this demo, I'm going to show you some very quick and easy ways to do nail art using dotting tools. Uh, you can use them either to do dots or you can use them to do marbling. And it's a really cool end result for very little time and effort. So it's something you could add on to the end of your service, make a little extra money without increasing the time that you put in your book. Uh, it could be like a last minute decision for them to get nail art and you didn't have to add time, but you made some extra money. So I'm just going to take some polish and drop a few drops on a piece of tin foil so it's easier to work with. So I'm, I've got several different size tools. I'm going to use a big one first and do my first dot. Maybe add a few around it. There's no wrong way to do this because they really make it so simple. Um, once you get a few dots going, you can switch tools. You can go to a different size. I'm going to go to a smaller tool and embellish what you've done. I like to dip in each time. Sometimes if you try to get ahead and do multiple dots with one tool, one dip, the polish result is you get a lighter color. So if you want a lighter color, you can multiple dot with one dip. But if you want to have really good solid colors, you don't want to dip once and do many dots. I'll do it this time actually. I'm going to do a little fade out. So I'm going to dip once and I'm going to do several dots. And you can see that they get lighter as I go away. And then each one is just a little lighter than the one before. So really cool look. Very quick, very easy, didn't take extra time in your book, you probably can charge per nail an extra dollar. So another way of using these tools is to do more of a marble style. So I've created a white background and I have three colors prepared that I'm going to marble together in a very quick demonstration. I'm doing silver, black, and white. And the key to this is that the colors need to be wet while you're working, so you have to work really fast. So I'm going to bring my colors in so I have them ready to roll and then I'm going to grab the tool and I'm going to just blend all these colors together really fast. So doesn't matter what you do, the color order, I just like to keep uh, stripes separated in different colors so that you get more of um, an effect by the different colors dragged into each one and then take your tool and just start moving around. Now don't worry about any texturing that you get because when you top coat this, you're gonna actually be able to smooth it out. And if you want, you can even go back in, you can add a little bit of another color. Um, you know, if you want a little more black in this area, you can still, if it's still wet, just grab it in and then add it in. So then all you have left to do is wait for this to dry, add a top coat to it, and you get a really cool you know, marbled effect. Again, fast and easy. You could charge a dollar per nail. Uh, if you do it on all 10, it's an additional 10 without adding time to your book.